Climate change, it's a matter of survival. It's a matter of human rights and it's a matter of economic development among many other interesting uh, development facets. In the Gambia, through uh, the Banjo Climate Caravan, um, we are telling the Gambian story, how Gambians are facing day in, day out with the climate crisis. Being part of a continent that contributes 4% to global emission, we are telling the Gambian story on climate um, change. The Banjo Caravan is designed to influence strategies, national targets on their position regarding adaptation, mitigation and climate phenomenons. The caravan we started in Birkama by the young volunteers of the environment. These organizations stand against injustice on climate change. Climate justice. When do we need it? Right now. When do we need it? Right now. The coastal villages of West Coast region are also another area where climate injustice is taking place. Uh, it's, a, it's a blessing to see young ones uh, volunteering and that's uh, to volunteer their time to be able to participate in this. I see a lot of excitement around it and I know that uh, from the government's point of view, uh, regional governors, local governments are going to be very, very supportive to make sure we have climate justice. Uh, climate justice is huge if you hear it, but um, it's a universal stuff. So it's something that is affecting the whole country, the whole world. In reality, without climate justice, uh, a lot of our society, especially the Gambia, we get the underprivileged get affected to a way that we don't actually see it until it affects us. And if you look at it, the whole world is affected. You look at global warming, how the reality of it, how it is hitting the whole world. Uh, so unpredictable everywhere, but the most uh, challenge is the people who are actually poor, the underprivileged, and the Gambia happens to be a part of that. These areas are known for sign mining, and there are many activities that are conducted there that affects the land areas. In terms of um, climate issues in the West Coast region here, I think this is one of the most affected regions in the Gambia. Um, if you look at the different assessments that has been conducted, by either NDMA or either you know, NEA and other relevant institutions. Um, when it comes to sand mining, you will understand that this region is mostly affected, most especially the coastal villages we have in the West Coast region. If you also look at mining as well, you know, for gravel and other things, you will understand that this has created havoc in, in, in many parts of the society and the, it, it is still increasing. With the West Coast where we have most of us, especially this year, have been affected with the climate change, uh, the justice is required. A lot of polluters are not the ones actually who it is affecting. So the reality is we need that safety net to be able to help our people. So the need for us to convert here today to do an activity of this nature is quite very important because it will help us to look way forward. What do we need to do as, as, as people of this particular region? How do we put our efforts together? How do we synergize our efforts? and more especially with um, the young volunteers coming forward, engaging young people, engaging different stakeholders that are very key in, in addressing issues of climate change in this region. I thank uh, uh, the, 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 the EF people, the youths who are in it, but most importantly, the ability of this government to accept that there is climate change and to have um, a conducive environment created by this government to help us actually achieve what we all want which is climate justice. So I thank you and I look forward to doing more things with you in the future. The central region of the Gambia is known to be the breadbasket of the Gambia. History would reveal that this region serves as source of food for the whole country as the famous Jahali Pachal is located in this region. According to SPI experts, they said the Jahali Pachal can feed the whole country if it is used as expected. But we have seen what climate injustice has done to the region. What do we want? Climate justice. When do we need it? Right now. Climate justice. Lady, lady. Climate justice.
the climate change has caused a lot of negative impact in the Central River region and other parts of the Gambia. In Central River region, we have seen how deforestation and other inhumanitarian activities have uh, contributed to climate change. I am pleased to inform you um, some of the effects of climate change in CRR. Few amongst them is um, deforestation. You know, most of the big trees now are no more existing due to several factors. Um, bushfire, uh, human activities, that's cutting down the trees, grazing, expand farmlands. So that has done a, a lot of deforestation. Media mukang ying al hawala falling on la minkam batandi janto. Tonya tonya nga bata kuol soto ala bake janto. Munem follow 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 ti na yiribal na yiribal be banta boy la janto. Because ni tata ni momoje eko ha nga lansino soto forest le nga lansino soto forest le forest dum. Forest be do forest be mansa kunda le kodo. Na do kuode ndal mu faro do kula alat na faro do ku al bañi al hawo men fokante ay mbatandi baake saay ay mbatandi dalila jumaala kaati ni do ku ke ila do ku ni ya do ku te ngete fen sotala wo bata wo fango mo bata bata da kole ya ringo baalam saay ntel nata ajube saay ni do ku ke foka pare fana sama kono ni ya firo ke djiolota janni wo fir fengo be funtila janni djiobina akati nyaro la nati say fereti je foy sumuru yeta faroto ni muruta faroto fana banko kengo be banta foka pare ni fonyo nata yedo ku wo munke ni fonyo nata abe ka lale abe ke lale muno yo sabu e kanyi yir kunto munke wulo kono wole yo sabu we um, at our level here um, government has plans in the national development plan um, to do a lot of activities to curb the effect the negative effect of climate change which of course includes um, tree planting um, afforestation um, and also engaging people, discussing with them with a view towards changing their mindsets. Because human activities is very, very um, crucial when it comes to climate change. So now people are encouraged to grow trees, to plant trees, and also to protect them, to ensure that these trees that are planted um, are also taken care of for them to grow to maturity. In the North Bank region, during the caravan, we looked at lost and damages. Deforestation is not also an exceptional in this region. We have seen how the cutting down of trees has affected the area. We have also seen how the salt water has been moving from the seas and coming to the pharaohs to destroy their farmlands. This has also depreciated the outcome of rice cultivation. We are told that these lands are affected by deforestation and the natives of the lands are calling for repression or assistance in order to go in for afforestation, the planting of trees and the protection of their forest. Havo farmers. This is a very important initiative because we all know now the world is struggling with uh, climate, climate change. Um, it's affecting I think everywhere in this world. Although Gambia, we are not a major contributor to climate change, but it's affecting our, our country. Uh, recently we have, um, especially this year, we have a lot of floods, especially in Banjul and Combos, which uh, indicate that we are also one of the affected countries as far as um, climate change is concerned. North Bank, as many people have already mentioned, is one of the uh, you know, regions that has been highly affected by the impact and effect of uh, climate change. 
And I would just want to give you some few examples of the reasons why North Bank is one of those uh, regions highly affected. In the first place, North Bank is the most deforested area as far as uh, the Gambia is concerned. Uh, and as a result, it, it, that has uh, greatly impacted on food security uh, in, you know, in, 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 the, in the region. Secondly, um, when also it comes to um, uh, the uh, production of uh, the main staple food, which is rice, as we all know, rice is usually grown around, around the uh, lowland areas. But what we have observed over the past few years is that there has been a lot of salt intrusion coming from the uh, river floodplain into the rice fields. As a result, uh, destroying most of the rice fields that um, people used to grow rice uh, in. Um, as we are speaking now, uh, many, many years ago, uh, people in North Bank were able to produce enough to last their families for six months to one year. But nowadays, you would hardly be able to have a family that can feed itself from their produce for a period of uh, not more than three months. For the rest of the nine, nine months, people have to depend on imported food. And this is the direct uh, you know, impact uh, and, you know, of, the, uh, of, of the effect of, the, of climate change. Tree planting is another way of mitigating climate change. And that is why some young people have engaged in the nursing and planting of trees. We are empowering youths and uh, women to engage themselves into tree planting because we believe tree planting is the best way of mitigating climate change. So um, in our region, which is uh, North Bank, yeah, we have realized the, um, the region has serious land degradation and deforestation. So that's why we thought it very uh, worthwhile uh, to engage ourselves into tree planting. The main objective of this uh, setting of this um, garden is basically to um, help rural communities repl replenish their um, forests and gardens in order to plant more trees in their uh, forests and gardens, in order to attract more, more rainfalls. So however, we are in, uh, also helping small farmer holders and communities to um, help them to plant uh, more trees in their, in their forest. The city of Banjul has faced a lot of climate change issues. The capital has this year experienced flood, flood in its abundance. This flood has made certain people to abandon their homes and then lived in a school. This is all caused by the climate change and the climate injustice. And they are calling for reparation as they are victims of climate change. Now they have come up with what they call reparations of mangroves, the planting of mangroves within the rivers. This is all to mitigate climate change and climate injustice. We all know the, the recent consequences climate change uh, has done to Banjul, and it has been uh, educators in uh, years, not recently, because of, uh, we've been battling with coastal erosion and uh, floods, uh, basically, and the destruction of the mangroves uh, at the Tambi wetland. Uh, that Tambi wetland is a Ramsar con conversion, but uh, it's a protected area. In, uh, the mangroves at the wetlands, uh, we normally call them the defendants of Banjul, but now currently it has been tampered because we have so many investors in that place. They have cutting down the mangroves and they, put, they install their structures and they are making, they are raising their funds there, but at the end of the day it's affecting Banjul because whenever it rains or during the normal high tides and the low tides comes, uh, Banjul normally uh, uh, floats, especially Banjul not constituency, that's tobacco road end. Climate change, the thing that affects me is the flood. I don't want to see it, I don't want to see it, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it, I don't want to see it, but I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it, I don't want to see it, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. But the thing that I don't want to see is the flood. I don't want to see it. Il y a un naturel désastre. Il y a un man qui a été fait pour un man qui a été désastre. Il y a un man qui a été fait pour un man qui a été fait. Il y a un man qui a été fait pour un man qui a été fait. Il y a un man qui a été fait pour un man qui a été fait. Il y a un man qui a été fait pour un man qui a été fait. Il y a un man qui a été fait pour un man qui a été fait. Il y a un man qui a été fait pour un man qui a été fait. Il y a un man qui a été fait pour un man qui a été fait. Il y a un man qui a été fait pour un man qui a été fait. Il y a un man qui a été fait pour un man qui a été fait. Il y a un man qui a été fait pour un man qui a Auto mekanik kita ni kan, so nyonya ia hal lubar si afirman proses. 
Oyster farming is another economic activity in the Gambia. Many women have ventured into the street, but they lamented that they are now prompted with climate change issues, which led some of them to abolish the street. For many years, African story have been told by experts, by researchers who don't even feel or experience what the true African is facing. And this um, African climate caravan, dubbed Banjo Climate Caravan in the Gambia, is actually telling the true Gambia climate story. And you could see how devastating climate change have caused uh, the development of this country. And we've witnessed of recent and past years, and uh, of course, if nothing is done now, we will face more um, devastation in terms of our livelihood and in terms of our, in terms of our environment. We're witnessing flood. We've seen a lot of deforestation. We've seen a lot of environmental injustice, which have eventually affected the livelihood of people. And uh, most, uh, most who are affected are the indigenous people who have contributed immensely to the development of this uh, country. And uh, that is why through this video or through this documentary, we are actually telling the Gambia story that the people speak of how they are affected by this climate change. And we want to thank Oxfam International and as well as the government of the Gambia and all civil society organization and as well as the media for joining hands together to tell this Banjul climate caravan the climate story of the Gambia. And we do hope that global leaders will listen to this plight of the ordinary citizens of this great continent demanding for climate finance, demanding for uh, technologies, demanding for the right capacities, demanding for all support that will help them to put in place measures that will actually help them to remedy or mitigate uh, the effects of climate change and as well as adapt to the unforeseen um, devastation that is yet to come. If nothing is done now, what happens in Gambia or in Africa might be more worst in other continents. So we share one common home and we must act together and we must take our differentiated responsibility and act now for the sake of humanity because we share one race that is humanity and we share one home that is art. There is no plan B and we must not do things at the expense of humanity or at the expense of environment. And we must act now or else it will be too late. We must keep it 1.5 degrees Celsius, nothing more, and we must stay together in this fight and end the negative effects of climate change and the inequality gap must be closed. We demand climate justice now.